for four of these. Okay? And then the postgraduate diploma, that's the same eight sort of modules that you can install. If for some reason things don't go well and you have to stop before you've completed the eight top modules, so you've not achieved the postgraduate diploma requirement, you could actually come out with a postgraduate certificate. So at least we wouldn't have been entirely with so whether it's for academic reasons you've got to stop or whether maybe financial, family, whatever, it's possible to stop and still come out with something. Now um, it works out on a credit basis. I think that's <coughs> Uh, I'll talk about that on the slide later. Right, examinations. Modules are, t are, are assessed by combination of exam and coursework. Some modules it's, co it's project work, it's coursework only. Some it's exam only. Some are a mixture of both. And they happen depending on the timing of when the module or course is delivered when the exam would be. So we have exams in December, in April, and again in August. Okay? Now, all students have one reset of opportunity per course, which is an accurate statement, but I need to qualify that. For postgraduate students, you actually only have three. So out of the eight, if you fail three of them, you get three reset, you've got a reset in each one. Fail a fourth, and the world stops because you don't get a chance in a reset. So you have only three reset opportunities. Are we clear on that? It's different from a bachelor's course where everything can be reset. And all the examinations of coursework are set and examined by Harriet Watt. So that means that you've got the course material, the content is very poor. The assessment is very poor. The decisions on whether you will be able to join the course is very poor. So we can say quite legitimately the degree that you obtain, irrespective of how you studied it and where you studied it, is of the same value. So we do not put onto our degree certificates, you know. At Master of Science in Construction Project Management brackets by distance learning with B and B U C or anything like that. It doesn't say that. It simply says Master of Science in Construction Project Management. Because we don't differentiate in value between one mode of study and another. Okay? The on campus and on campus assessments are the same, and hence the degree certificates and transcripts. Um, what kind of student support do, you, uh, support do you get? Well, the learning materials that are provided are all available online. We have, some, we have a virtual learning environment we call it Vision. So when you are registered as a student, you are automatically given a username and password, which gives you access to that Vision material. But it also gives you additional uh, access to additional material. So the school has on its website some access to specialist databases are provided for, for, you, for example by ISUB is one of them, which is the Royal Institute of Chance Wears. So there's access onto the, to that particular site. Something called Info for Education, which is very good when you're particularly for the undergraduates, but still okay for, for postgraduates when you're looking at um, specification documents and so on you might be interested in. There are other, um, what is it, iRoody, which is for uh, people in project development, uh, sorry, property development, so on. There's a range of, of databases that you'd have access to. The library itself, and you have electronic access to that through our, our um, virtual private network, VPN, and that gives you access to the, the electronic journals, the um, abstract services, that sort of thing. And that's very important because you're going to be postgraduate students. We're assuming that you're going to go on to do your dissertation, your, your thesis. You do need to do research. You do need to read beyond the notes. Although the notes are self-contained, our view is that they're not the course. The course is what you make it. 
and that, that's how we, we examine it on. Okay, so courage to read beyond the rules. I did say earlier that the tutors are fully qualified and experienced. That's one thing that we are very, very careful about to make sure that you you are if you like faced with people who actually know what they're talking about. Uh, because otherwise, they're going to be helping you interpret the material. If they don't know what they're doing, it's going to be more difficult for you. Right. Assessment, I did say that. Um, either two or three hour duration. Uh, submitted electronically and by hard copy. Hard copy so that we can track what's happened. Because the electronic copy goes in through the vision stuff. Module leader or post leader at our end. Will go about it. They know what necessarily the admin stuff. So the hard copy is important. The reason we want it electronically is because it goes through something called Conic In. I don't know if you've heard of this or not. But it's, it's a piece of software which behind it has must be the biggest takeaway in the world by now, I think. Because every time an item is submitted to, it stores it. So that when you submit your coursework, it then compares it with every other item that's held in its database and is looking for similarities. Mm -hmm. Considering civil engineering and architectural engineering and more undergraduate planning. I'll stop at this one. Although that really is focused on undergraduate programs, it's worthwhile saying where it's appropriate, we obtain professional recognition of our courses. So the Masters, and it's the Masters, not the Postgraduate Diploma qualification, the Masters in Construction Project Management is recognised by the Chartered Institute for Builders in the UK and the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors. Okay? These are the two principal accrediting institutions that we work with. We have others as well. That, that one there, for example, is the Singapore Institute of Builders, but that's because we have to have a partner in Singapore, and we've worked with them to gain that recognition. And there's some odd ones down here. For example, the real estate money. Just to give you a, a flavour of what we like to do when it comes to accreditation, and we'll be repeating the, that process here in Jamaica. That is the board of valuers, auctioneers, and estate agents in Malaysia. So we work in Malaysia, so we look for accreditation in Malaysia. We've been speaking to uh, the Incorporated Master Builders Association. I met with them in March last year, and we were there today again talking about that. Now, in this case, accreditation, they don't do. But what they do is they look at what's on offer and then go endorse and persuade their members, who are in fact companies, although individuals can become associate members, to look at these programs. <coughs> And it does mean that graduates from construction project management master's course, employers will already have been made aware of that program. And it means that you have an advantage in the employment states because employers know about this course at all uh, already. And the fact that the, their association has endorsed it 